Decided to train to avoid the signals. Well, that's but right there is a good way to avoid signals too, because I don't see any signals going over a lattice. Lattice work? What? Ladder? Hey, yellow equals climb. Um, I don't think you've done this yet, but if you have played this. How do game, I? How do I? Oh, hold on, hold on. So I gotta get. Uh -oh. oh shit! You better, you better drop down, homie. Oh. There oh. you go. <laughs> Hey! I was setting that moment up perfectly, because if you've played the game, you've either had your head taken off or have you fallen from a moving train. This thing is was a marvel of modern okay. game making. So it's just like, yeah. time it, right? It's all about timing. It's like comedy. Run, Nate. Run, Nate. Thanks. And down. See, that guy got taken out. Um, so the world is working for you, not against you. Yeah. Haymaker, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna duck. Oh, that guy went bye bye. I'm so glad we didn't see that because it was. Oh, he would not still be there. Hey, cheese. Oh, Jesus! I missed the train. Uh, Come on, Nolan. Oh, you missed your train. That's okay. There'll be another one coming through in 15 minutes, sir. Um, really? We missed a train recently. Which train did we miss? Well, we were. I, I remember where were we in? Uh, we were in jolly old England. You remember? Which train did we miss? Did we miss a train? Did I miss a train? Where am I supposed to be right now? <laughs> oh, that guy got taken out too. Fortunately, there's no shortage of bad guys. You got guys, you got guys, you got guys. You better drop, you drop, 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 drop. Holy crap, holy crap. Hey, then go black and white. I know, because I'm okay. I didn't die, I just <laughs> ended oh, up, you died. I failed the mission. Trust me, you died. This thing was like a, a, a marvel. Oh no, of, get back down. Modern uh, game making when they did it because from a technical standpoint, it was, it was mind blowing. I can't speak too, too much to it because I'm not a, uh, I didn't make it, but I do know, I remember them talking about this at E3 and it was like, when they showed this, they're like, you're gonna get on a train and move around. There are oh, other people that are more capable. Boom. Damn it. I'm speaking to it than I. Uh, how do I shoot again? <laughs> you don't. I can't, yes I can. can yeah, I? but I mean, isn't there enough violence in the world? Apparently not to Nathan Drake. Okay, this is, uh, this is getting a little bit gross. It's not gross, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Nope. Again, it's a, it's a, a technological marvel that when they made this, oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. That's not a good place. I mean, mm, you're gonna get hit by bamboo. I can't He went bye-bye, he went bye-bye. Um, when Naughty Dog did this, oh my God. Tank? Yeah, tank on yeah, the train. Yeah, it's a tank. When Naughty Dog did this, they, this is like stretched every bit of like tech and design that they had to their limits. Like this was... Uh-oh, so I need to... Oh, these things come on the side? Oh, that sucks. How, 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 can I climb this fast? Uh-oh. Jump. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So I just, I just went, but it won't... Come on, shimmy, dude, shimmy. See, you're doing great. Now they're on the side though. So no longer are they on top, but you can't get to the top. So uh, jump, jump up. Shimmy like a gibbon. Shimmy like a gibbon. Shimmy like a gibbon. Down, come on. Uh, uh, jump over there, Nate. Jump that way or fall off the fucking train. God damn it. Already, already this frustrated. Okay, well at least I'm not starting back at that stupid thing. All right, do you need some help? I might need some help, you know what? I know You've something. missed this setup three times. Let's go for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was. I was. Was that the setup? By, 
everybody watching, they know who's coming on because he's on the title card. So, for so God's I should sakes. so bring him in. Yeah. All right. Fine. Fine. I just want to let me just jump up and get out of the way. Jump up. Jump uh, up and get down. Then, then I'll just uh, 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 just hit. Where are you looking pause. for his pause? Ah, uh, you know what I want to do. You you breathe out, you exhale, and so that means you're about to do something. Go for it. Taylor Kurosaki. There he is. It's weird, right. right? It feels weird. Wow. Because your whole body goes. Wow. Shit, I keep hitting the wrong goddamn button. Taylor, I'm having trouble. He's, uh, he's really frustrated. Nate just died? Nate died many times. Nate dies a lot. I heard he was just running out of luck. No, no, it's uh, we go we go Citizen Caneville and he goes black and white and it's death. Uh, and there's 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 people at home, uh, a dear friend of ours, Pyro, that keeps an actual count of how many times he dies and is oh. happy to share that with the with the. Oh, public. that must be that must be terrible. I think I got this now, Taylor. May I call you Taylor? Hi, Troy. Yes, please do. Um, you have a very unique attachment to this game. You have a unique attachment to this franchise. Perhaps you could enlighten people that may not know. Well, let's see. Uh, for the franchise itself, uh, I was kind of there at the beginning when Amy created this this entire world, really. And it was, uh, it, it, it was cool getting to see Naughty Dog evolve. Naughty from, Dog started. From what point? Like, where did they, you came on when? You, you've been doing games for how long? Uh, I started in games in 1995. <laughs> My first day in video games was January 5th, let's say, 1995. Let's say January 5th. Let's just say January 5th. 1595. My first official duty at Naughty Dog was sleeping on a hotel room floor of the Imperial Palace Hotel. In, in Las Vegas? In Las Vegas. Uh, because Jason and Andy, the two main Naughty Dogs, oh, come on. had a bed in a room, and our, Bob Raffi, the art director, and I shared, a, shared the floor. You shared the floor with Bob Raffi? Yeah. We were all in one room together. That, guy's such that was an the entire company. Artist. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, what? Yeah, that was that was day one. What the hell were you doing in Imperial Palace besides, like, not. Well, <laughs> well, no, mm. no. Yeah. Oh, he's fine. Can well, I shoot that thing? Sure. I mean, it's shooting you. I think that's, yeah. that's, fair, that's yeah. fair play, right? And you have a machine gun. What do you need, buddy? I want to hear myself a little bit, yeah. Can you hear yourself a little bit more? Yeah. So these guy? lovely Astros, just turn that little right, right. Can't to, see oh, where I'm going. Oh, that's, oh. Can't see where I'm going. It's that. There you go. Huh. No. So then you watch this, you watch young Nate Drake grow up from, from just a wee little uh, idea into the wonderful the, the crazy thing is that uh, Jackass was really big then. I, I cannot wait to see the connection. Yeah. Well, the original early concept arts looked like Johnny Knoxville. Really? We really based it on Johnny Knoxville, yeah. If you look at some of the early concept arts in that, with that in mind, take a look. There's some videos that we made back in the day. There was a trailer that we made uh, where he's in his little baseball jersey, his little three-quarter sleeve baseball jersey, and it's... Super Johnny Knoxville. Hi, I'm Nathan Drake. And this oh is man, I didn't see that. This is called Train Death. <laughs> Dude, I was doing so good. I got you, homie. Here's yeah, where do. where is it? I'm gonna give you a little. There yeah, you go. but what? But it's still not me. It's it's a. Uh, well, then I'll just do this. Hearing you is hard. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's fine. That sounds like a really bad love song. Okay. Wow. You <laughs> should have died, and you should still be dead. I mean, it's it's a it's a sheer. Okay. So I, I remember I, do, this specific. Should I shoot this thing, or yes. does it really matter? I mean, just main thing is move forward. Yeah, just don't just, get shot by it. Get... How about that? That's that's their main thing. You can blame Jacob Minkoff for this. Jacob is a is a he's a he's a bastard. Yeah. He loves torturing me. I feel like everything that Jacob has made. Now, Jacob. Okay, so you should also let people know. This is the beauty that we can actually do. This we can have people that have made this game, not just been in this game, but actually made this game. Give us insight that no. Why did I do that? that? God dang it! I don't remember the buttons. Okay. He's buttons gonna have his suck. Own I heard that he. Here. Yeah. We're we're all pulling for you over here, Nate. Yeah, sure you are. No one so, just don't. What did Jacob do? What was well, Jacob? This was this was Jacob's baby. 
Oh, I jumped into it. Shit balls. We should just let him do his thing here. We'll we'll have a little conversation. I, 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 let me tell you something. I, I know about Jacob, and the greatest thing about Jacob is his mustache back in the day. Yes, he was quite a dandy. Jacob had a amazing mustache. Just he was a, he jump. Was a, a dandy gentleman with all kinds of suits and epaulets and epaulets and things. He just had all of the Troy, things. Troy, you'd like him. Yep. And what is what does Jacob do for the the dogs that were naughty? Well, he was uh, the dogs were naughty. He was one of the game designers on this game. This was his first game at Naughty Dog. Shut your mouth. Uncharted Two was Jake's first game at Naughty Dog, and he uh, came up with this level. And he came up with the convoy level. No spoilers, it's coming later in the game. Uh, but yeah, he was a bastard. He was like, well, why can't we have a whole mission, a whole level that's moving through the world? Because that's impossible at right. that time, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> the, and here's the crazy thing is, we couldn't just build infinite geo, so we built these little loops. Okay. So the train is in like the, the bamboo forest parts. Okay. And if you took, because you can just hang out, right? Nothing's, nothing's compelling you to move forward quickly. So you can take a hell of a long time in this and it has to still feel like there's more new Geo. And then at certain points it shifts to the next sequence. Now we're in the river, river. section. And, uh, but that's triggered by player moving forward on the train. Yes, yes. And then, it, and then it, 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 it can seamlessly loop into the next bit. It could either loop on itself or it could then branch into the next little loop and then branch to the next little loop and so on and so forth. Triangle. Oh, um, yeah, you died. You went bye-bye. So, yes, this was Jake's... Uh, oh, no, back here? Oh, no, get down, get down. And, and Jacob Shit. is doing what now? Jake works with me still. We work at Infinity Ward, and we make uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. In, so indie games. Yeah, yeah, a little... Uh, little, little... <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. So how do you... I mean, obviously, I know this, but how do you... What is it like transitioning from... You, you, do you do small titles? Have you ever done the small title? Or do you just pretty no. much just go straight out no, the so, game with like the biggest temple titles? So we'll, we'll, we'll go back. Okay. Uh, first day at Naughty Dog. Okay. And floor of the Imperial Palace. Floor of the Imperial <laughs> Palace Hotel. We were there for CES. Oh wow. There was no uh, there was no E3. No. E3 had yet to be invented. No. So CES was the game show. Oh my god. And we were there to check out all the latest and greatest in Betamax technology. What would have been in 1995? And, what were you checking out that year? Well, we were making a game for the 3DO. The 3DO, right? You're, yeah. Uh, yes. So uh, Andy and Jason, the founders of Naughty Dog, yeah. had only really made games by themselves up to this point. They were they were, uh, I think they went to summer camp together is how they became friends. Like they were friends from early teenage years and they truly were a garage, kind of garage company, Apple kind of company. They were like the Steve style. Jobs and. <laughs> yeah, and they would make games in their, in their homes. They would make games on summer vacations from school, uh, from high school, from college. Uh, and they were so precocious that they decided well, let's just have EA publish our game, and they did. They did Rings of Power for the Sega Genesis. Did I miss it? I have one shot at that, guys. Yes, and you you blew it. I think it was in the early '90s. Anyway, just just crazy shit. And so they said, well, we're gonna make a proper game with a proper team, and they hired some guys. This was the first time they had employees. So how many how many employees started up in that dog? Uh, there were five of us, I think, to start. Five people. Yeah. And they're now like, what, 300 probably? Yeah, 350 is what I hear. Same size as, as Infinite, uh, Infinity War. Dreams to come true. Oh God, that's going to sting. That hurts a little bit. You hear that thud in the chest. Bing dong, bing dong. It's going to be a bit. This, this is not good, guys. This, this is, is not great. Good. This is great television. So, Are you kidding me? So we were at CES checking out all the latest and greatest things. And run, they, had, run, run, they had just run, made run, a game run, 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 called, you'll, you'll, you, oh God, you got it. They made a game called um, Way of the Warrior for the 3DO. It featured an entire soundtrack of white zombie music. <laughs> and it was basically a Mortal Kombat knockoff. Licensed or written for the game? Licensed. Okay. They licensed that whole album. Oh, God. And because Jason loved it. Jason like, loves Jay white Jason, zombies. Jason would play Pantera like blaring out of his office what? while we were working. Like that was, there was no escape because there was five of us. I cannot imagine Jason Rubin listening to really. Yeah, yeah. Vulgar oh, display of power. Man. Yeah. What? Yes. Yes. Central. Yes. Yes. So. Uh, wow. Way of the Warrior was a Mortal Kombat knockoff. Okay. Naughty Dog's pretty good at being inspired by other things. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we, <laughs> we, have, Jones. We, have a, we have a grand history of being inspired by other things that are out there, but you know, then synthesizing them and making them maybe greater than the sum of their parts. So, Way of the Warrior, 3DO, they're gonna make a new game on the 3DO. They RPG. A, they wanna make a platformer, like this. Platforming, jumping, running, story. all this stuff. And we were there at CES, and we got to go to a behind closed doors demo of a new game hardware, and it was the PSX. It was the Sony PSX. Wow. It was running Ridge Racer. Oh, wow. This is, this is a year and a half before it came out in the States. Oh, this is the best part. We gotta watch this. I mean, this, Talk about action cinematic. Ah, look, 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 look. Yeah. Here's my buddy. And happens to you on the stick. That's what's crazy. Still the coolest moment. What do you remember? Like when you, I want to get to the PSX part, but like right. chapter 14, good job. When you go back and you, how long has it been since you played this game? Oof. It's, you, uh, by the way, any answer is okay. Six more years. Than one because he's never played it. So you go, six years. Six years. Yeah. So. And it's so, so it's so cute seeing him play, right? right? It kind of looks like when my dad got an iPhone for the first time, and he's I just like banging it. With yeah. the, it's like kind of like uh, in 2001, it's just like the two monkeys banging the, the bone together. Yeah, it's really nice. What is it like for you now that you're separated, not only by time, you're separated by titles, um, you've shipped three games, four games since this one, right? I would think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I stalk you, it's okay. Um, Can I jump up there, or am I gonna get killed if you're I jump? Gonna, you're gonna, I see things I need. I, I think, think you wanna go down. Fly. See the yellow that's down there? Yellow there you means go. climb, buddy. There you go, buddy. Um, great design language. Follow yellow, yellow equals, mm -hmm. huh, follow the yellow. Um, Keep yellowing around there, can you? Can't, I can't, can't you see scoot? the yellow. Yellow? Can't scoot around that corner? Can't see the I would around. listen to the person who's <laughs> on the deaf oh, <laughs> telling you to shoot. do. Oh. There you go. All right, there you go. Oh. Bye bye. Son of a bitch. Sometimes the best thing to do is just- Son of a bitch, chop! We'll, we'll, we'll help him, he needs a little- Guys, I could really use some help. Yeah. I know you have a nice conversation. How I about really maybe the other side? Have you tried the other side? Blink? That one blocked. So six years since the last time you went that down- doesn't look like there's a lot of room over there, does it? Looking for- No, can't go that way. Okay. What do you... Well, I mean, it's just great memories. You know, it was... Share it, with us. It's a, it's a moment in time where you have this incredible team. I mean, really, really looking back. If you look at the people that were working on this game together, a lot of them are still at Naughty Dog doing great stuff. There you go, buddy. Look at you. Yeah. See? Um, Perseverance. You know, incredible guys that are still making incredible stuff and are still continuing to raise the bar at Naughty Dog. Right. This guy. You, but then you've got a whole, you know, Amy Hennig, uh, just a seminal figure in, in gaming, and I cannot wait to see what she comes up with next. <sighs> you know, uh, Bruce Straley, no longer at Naughty Dog. What is he doing? I like this don't mystery. know. The guy is like, he's like a, a grasshopper that just kind of wandered off into the desert and is, he's like destined to, wa to walk the earth. <laughs> Whatever he does next is gonna be incredible because he... What, what did Bruce do on this one? He would have been game designer? Game director. Game director? Game director on this game. Okay. Um, and yeah, it just, it was just an all-star team. And it was sort of like this, you know, some, some projects just want to get made. Some projects just, it feels like it's the right time, it's the right people. Um, we were all hitting our stride as a team creatively. Um, we were mastering the tech. I mean, our whole engine team at Naughty Dog was just the best of the best of the best. And you would are, so coming off of Drake's fortune, by the way, you know triangle's the button, it's telling you to push, you should push that button when it tells you to do that. Just gonna, the big green triangle telling you, you're asking for help, there it is. Or just shoot the guy, that's true. Yeah, how about the shotgun, that's a good thing. See, yeah. right, I'm a huge fan of the shotgun. Just, I'm a huge fan of the shotgun in Modern Warfare, dude. Oh yeah, absolutely. It just someone, feels so, good. someone said in the, the reviews like <laughs> Modern Warfare, shotguns and claymores. I was like, absolutely, it is. <laughs> Why not? Do I, I need the sniper here, or do you think? You know, I, I would take it. Yeah, I would take it. If over, ever, over the over the shotgun. Yeah, I, I would. So dragon sniper, you could pick those guys off all the now, way down. Yeah. You've got a good look down range. Because they'll probably start wanting to take you out. So uh, I got the sniper, right? You they're, got, gonna, they're gonna say, show me your head. But isn't there? Can isn't you there, scope? Can you scope it? How do I scope? R3. R3. R3 is which part? The Put, right stick. Pushy push downy down. on the righty thummy. Push this down. is the second game we've been oh, doing no. this for a while. Oh, they're moving very close to you. Now just shoot. There you go. There you go. Just the theoretical reticle on his face. You know, Uncharted Drake's Fortune was the first game oh. we had made on the PS3. And hey. 
the first one is all and the first one in the series, so it's always hard to establish a thing. Right. And then Uncharted 2 now it's like, okay, we kind of know what we're doing here. Let's just make something better and more awesome and 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 honestly to bring this back around to modern warfare. Yeah. I would say that the team at Naughty Dog was inspired because when Drake's Fortune came out, literally the same month of the same year, Drake's Fortune. Would that have been Call of Duty? Modern Warfare. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare came out. No way, So we made this thing that we thought was incredible and dope and all this stuff, and then I'm playing All Gillied Up or Crew Expendable, and I'm like, what are they doing? Right. And so if you see all of this, what we call this the action cinematic experience. Sure. This on the stick, blockbuster, wow. um, good job, buddy. Oh. It, I would say a large part of it was inspired by wanting to up our game in the way that those guys had up their game. But like you look at, okay, so let's take COD 4, right? Or, or Modern Warfare 1, yeah. all the way up through Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, before you actually went away from first person. So you, as someone who had traditionally worked within the third person, hey, we can cut to cinematic cameras and stuff. Um, what was that like? It, is that kind of bang bang shoot that thing? Bye bye. Just like the Triangle. beginning of the game. Pegging, there you go. Um, I want to point out, by the way, you're on a train. Yeah, it's moving. Does not bode well for you. So um, trains are not good, huh? Trains are not good. Um, is this kind of one of the things that made you go, "Hey, I want to take treasure." This kind of like uh, I found treasure. You found a ring, buddy. I found um, treasure, buddy. Maybe it's. I'm not sure if that's a finger ring or something else, but look, let's not. Hey, the girth of it's going to be oh, oh, oh shocked onto oh, oh. the chest. Where did he come from? From mommy. That was weird that he got behind you. Did you, is this one of the reasons why you're like, I want to take kind of my pedigree of working on cinematic games and be able to put them within a Modern Warfare franchise? Absolutely. I mean, when you say third person, you mean like the cutscenes, basically? Yeah, because like Call of Duty is traditionally a first person shooter, right? And then all of the cutscenes that they had were always told kind of from the first person perspective. So it wasn't until. I mean, Ghosts had some cutscenes. Yeah, but what would, what, what, did Advanced Warfare well, come before Ghosts? No, go, go, Advanced Ghost, Warfare was right Advanced after Warfare. That. We don't talk about that one, by the way. Uh, and then Infinite Warfare. You were great in Advanced Warfare, buddy. Wait, everybody was great in it, including people we can't talk about. Oh, right. <laughs> you know, it was like, hey, should we have a sequel to this game? It's no. <laughs> we should not. It's kind of like Ford. I remember a poster of like Ford listing all of the Mustangs that they made, and it was the year that they made the Mach 1. It was like, uh, it literally says on this poster, it says, no Mustangs were made during this year. And it's like, oh, you just forgot your bastard weird weird shaped son. Right. Um, right. But, that, but being able you to gotta be shitting me. Like the, you, yeah, you want to you get up there, buddy. I know, but I can't get up there. It's not letting me. Uh, uh, get climb, Nate. So was that kind of like... Nolan, I remember like if we were playing this game in the uh, VO booth, and you were we were having you okay. ADR chase it, all of those little things, it would be like... Huh, uh, huh. Yeah, he yeah. still does that. Yeah, though. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of guys on this train. Oh if He'll actually say the lines of the other people, too. Oh, it's cute. It's Is it? <laughs> So um, yes, so why not take all of these learnings, right? So it, what's really nice about the games industry is it's very open, it, it, and, and it was always a thing that I never quite understood. Like, why aren't we being more secretive? You know, why are we letting the guys from Inf Infinity Ward come to Naughty Dog and see how we do this? Yeah, but but we it, uh, uh, a rising tide ah. floats all boats, right? So we could, if we're if we're known as the narrative uh, company, or we're good with the. Uh, the traversals or all that kind of stuff, then if we could up, up our like action set piece game, right. then that helps our game and then maybe those guys can up their narrative game. It's kind of the, like let's share, let's let's make us all better. We're, we're at the beginnings of this embryonic stage of game development still. Yeah. We're, right, everyone, I, I, we're I'm crawling. Saying, I'm saying a thing, yeah, exactly, we're crawling right now. So why not help each other, why not have a bigger brother who's like, well, I figured out how to use a fork, you know, and we can all now ma master that part of game making. What's a fork? You're like, oh, dude, let me show you. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it still is like that, which is guys, so awesome. A lot awesome. of guys, a lot of dead guys. I'm in black and white a lot. Yep. God, I wish I was so much better at this. Let's see, what does Nolan need here? You got cover. I mean, there is cover. He actually just, uh, I love that he said, I wish I could have used it, I wish I had a jacket. You're like, yeah, that would have been super helpful. Yeah. He also, his his main form of, of martial arts is either, or like his main fight style is either uh, jumping or picture mode. Uh, which, which uh, I mean, come on. That guy, absolutely not. 
These juggernauts. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah juggernauts. Yeah, you understand yeah. that. I'm just so nervous watching him play. Do you feel... Do you... Oh, it's so bad. I've just associated myself with it. It's right. kind of like... I can eat popcorn and just watch these. Like, you're probably gonna die. Do you notice that you're starting to get into the mountains of snow? And so this would have been another loop, right? There's the tunnel loop. Oh, I wanted that shotgun. You're okay, buddy. So there's, there's you're, you're getting close. To, I think he's getting close to the front of the train. You're getting very close to the front of the train. It is a long train. Now it's. You think that's going to get better for you? However, uh, you know, funny thing about the train level is when we were making this game, uh, when we were at the embryonic stages of developing it, we made this really cool animatic Shit. that was this action that shot. sequence on a train and showed off all the cool new traversal, like shimmying like a baboon on the side. And um, you showed that at E3, right? We never released it. <gasps> we what? never released it. It's 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 in a it's in like this gray box style. But it was it was cool. So wait, but this was the f when uh, if I remember correctly, because I played Drake's Fortune like like months after it came out, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I played it in January of 2007, 2008. Mm -hmm. So I would have played it just after that it had come out. Right. Right. I remember at E3, the demo was the train. The crawling up the train, or this? I thought it was this. Am I am I remembering incorrectly? Because I remember going, this is... Oh, people are screaming at me right now. I feel it. Yeah, feel you. yeah. I can't remember, but I just remember even then looking at this going, hey, trophy. Hey, look at you, buddy. 30 kills with the moss. Um, this being something that it was like everyone, every game maker, I was watching their, their their jaws go slack because they're like, this is incredible. I'm like, yeah, it looks cool. They're like, you don't understand what this means that we're we're actually able to do this. We might have, I, if we showed it at E3, it would have been the E3 of our launch year. So it would have been yeah. 2009. 2009. For this one. We did at the VGAs. Maybe that's How cool. we revealed that we were making Uncharted 2 was Nate sitting there, the, the yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, hitting yeah. him and you know, oh crap. That was our that was our like hey we're making Uncharted two and that's when the audience went that was that was incredible that night was incredible we were all at the VGAs there was probably like forty or fifty of us from Naughty Dog at the VGAs no, so excited just to hear what the audience's reaction was for it that's when we knew again some games want to make themselves some you games know what? you know we we mm. felt like we had the goods and that was oh. our uh, that was our kind of our coming out you know party and it was it was great is there anything that got cut. From um, from two that, that that you can look back and go, this was the baby. Everyone has to kill their babies. This is the one that I had to kill. Do you remember? Mm. Let's talk about the most traumatic moments from you. Well, I do time. remember. <laughs> I do remember. Uh, uh, well, you know what's really interesting is people always say like now at Infinity Ward, people go like, oh, so you know what? You shoot a whole bunch of stuff and you throw a bunch of it away. We never threw anything away. Really? Um, we never reshot a cutscene. Not one time. Take we never reshot. Oh. That guy. Uh, yeah, this is no good. What do I do with this guy? Oh. You just, you just try to make friends with him. Give him a sandwich. Maybe he wants a sandwich. That's why he's just angry. Just go. That guy's gonna really take a lot. Wow. Yeah. Um, he's angry. That's not gonna. That's not gonna do anything. Uh, so, there was one, the biggest edit we ever made to a cutscene in in the first three during the first three Uncharted games. The all three games. The biggest surgery we ever did on a scene, mm. most of them were just done in the can done, was... Ooh. So look how those are kind of like precariously placed. Nolan, those big logs, sorry to cut you off, I just know he's gonna be mm -hmm. hung up here for a little bit. Mm -hmm. See if you can't shoot those and make those go bye-bye. Because that guy's like armored up for days. Right, right. Yeah, buddy. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. There you go. Ding, 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 ding. The blind fire. Think, 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 think. Let's go ahead. Biggest let's see, let's see if you can figure, figure this out. He won't. Um, hey! Oh, hey! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. See ya, asshole. Uh-oh, somebody dead like the logs! Send in the gunship! Give it almost one breath. Who is that? Is it send in the gunship? That's probably like Fred Tatashore. Probably, probably Fred Tatashore. Right, Freddy T. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to, hi, I need a big guy. <laughs> you either get John DiMaggio or Fred Tatashore. And John was probably doing uh, Gears at this time. Yes, definitely. You were okay, the cutscene that uh, precedes the um, the museum level. <laughs> yes. Right, the, the Turkish really? mu museum. Well, it was a design change. 
we initially uh, were going to use lethal guns. And like somewhere along development, we're like all, this feels bad to be murdering all these museum guards. We should go with tranquilizer What am I doing? Guns. So Run, it became hey. a narrative choice. A you character guys, choice. Yeah. To be Tell me you guys. To... Sorry. You guys left a, a, a... Did you leave a... a, a... Come on, you were the do... game design... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about, talking about the scene? Because right, Oh, I see. Oh, yes. Now you can shoot the helicopter with mm -hmm. the anti-aircraft gun. Bup, 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 so we had bup, to bup, bup. we had to dub a bunch of that scene to make. But the you scene. didn't reshoot the scene. We didn't reshoot it. We dubbed it. So when you, when they were shooting it, it was actually here's a gun. Yeah, and it was and I forget what the what oh Flynn, God, Flynn's it? response was. It was something you know. And it was like, what all right, that? cool. And then it became about Amy rewrote it so it was you know the whole like you know what's your problem Gandhi all that kind of stuff you know about the the having those tranquilizer guns. And that was the most surgery we've ever had to do on a scene. How far after you had shot this, had you like tested it or was it just like you got it in the oh, game? Oh, we just were like, this feels wrong. Now, of course, you're pulling these guys down to their death too. They're falling. Let's just stories. hand wave that. Okay, okay. <laughs> got him, got him, got him, got it's it. Like, it's like Matt Damon. Matt Damon has no problem killing Not people good. in movies as long as he doesn't use a gun. That's my born. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. the born movies, he's like, I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Totally. I'll kill them with a big pen, but by God, I won't have guns be a part of it. So yeah, so the VGAs, we unveiled the train scene. That was super cool. We, um, and again, it just, like to me, this was the pinnacle. This is honestly, this game is the pinnacle of, uh, you know, my pinnacle, pinnacle of my time at Naughty Dog. Dude. For, for sure. It still holds up, because I mean, like, you ask most people today, and you're like, give, give me your top five uh, games of all time. And there's a lot of people that, that have. Come on, mate. It's a very, a uh, similar list that people will have in Uncharted 2 for most people, especially people that are making games today. Yep. This is somewhere on their list. Like Shadow of the Colossus, Uncharted 2. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people will say like... No, I don't want that. Metal one. Gear 3 or Metal Gear 4. Um, it's, it's those kind of huge character-driven, uh, world-driven, like this is a huge world that you were in. You go all, literally all over the world. But yet it feels contiguous. Contained. And oh, con continuous, yeah. And contiguous and continuous. You know, it feels, I love that, even in uh, Drake's Fortune, where you're like, we gotta get over there, and you see it in the world, and then you are you make your way there. It, it, f feeling connected like that. As opposed to just moving from one set piece. Yeah, to fade up, here we are somewhere else. Right. Um, How do we get here? Ah. Right. <laughs> Sully's got a plane. <laughs> That's how. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, this one was Yellow. this one was a lot of fun. Bunch it was, uh, you know, it was like it was the All Star team. It was Bruce and Amy and Neil and ah. everyone like Wonder Twin powers all coming together. How long did it take you to make this? You made it two, two years. Two years. Yeah, that's insane. Like, I mean, how less long did than two you years. Do Modern Warfare, you did you worked on for how long? Three years. Wow. Do you remember when Dev Cycle for like a, a Well it used to be a year. So it used to be a year. Eleven months actually, we'll, I think it was. We'll, like 10 we'll, months. we'll bring it all back around. Yeah, the Naughty Dog games, it was, you know, you shipped one in October and the next one needed to be done in June because there were no updates. What you burned on the disc, was that the was best. the game. Yeah, no more day one patch. No, no patching, <laughs> no nothing. No four gig download to make You'd sure. You'd have like the like like little Sharpie on the gold disc, like we did it, like yeah. everyone's Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't mean anything nowadays. See so, ya. Yeah. It's like Here's a physical copy that we can tweet out. <laughs> I mean, there used to be people that would, you need know, pay someone to to carry the disc on the airplane, and they would say they were like a, they would have like the suitcase, the out. briefcase with the yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to Sony with the disc. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard about like what happened with uh, Uncharted Four, right? I don't know if we can talk no, too much about no, that. No, no. There was like a whole heist. That, that went down. Um, oh, they stole? They, they stole like, I can't remember how many copies of it, but I was like, why would you do that? And he was like, do you know what the street value of each of those copies would be before you got the release? And so it like changed their whole security protocol of how they do it. But yeah, now it's like digital downloads and you have even five. Why am I not shooting? Before it was like, here's a digital, but if you want the actual collector's edition, then you have to get, um, I just got, my, my collector's edition that I got for Modern Warfare was like, yeah. I went all out, dude. I was like, I Did want- you get the NVGs? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I want the 3,000 points mm -hmm. automatically. Mm -hmm. I want the full mm -hmm. loadout. Because especially in Modern Warfare, if I'm gonna get online and play with anybody, I need every- Yeah, you got a peacock. You gotta have all your <laughs> shit. Yeah. That I have. Um, yeah, it's so- It's a triangle, buddy. There you go. Oh, nice counter. Yeah, dude. Oh, this guy. that melee combat down. Oh, boy. Um, 
We have a... Uh, where? How much longer in this little... I've lost track. I think he's pretty close to the end here. I think this is the guy. I think this is the... This is the guy. This is the guy. You this gotta... Guy's name is Gary. Oh. Okay, good, good. He, you're doing some things on him, though. You really are taking the bite out of him right now. Really... There you go. I would I would think that either there's some something triangle. There you go. Wait. Triangle. Square. 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 Oh man. Kitty got wet. Kitty got real wet right there. This is actually one of my favorite scenes. This And he had my permit dagger too. Mine, jerkweed. Jerkweed. We talked a lot about jerkweed. Jerkweed. That's like a Amy didn't write that. There's no way she Jer would. Jerkweed is like a, uh, uh, Do I have to do anything? Or is this a cutscene? I think that you're good. I don't think you're doing Just anything. die. Oh. Uh-huh. Who's gonna be there? Who's gonna, who's it gonna be? Miss ass. Woo-hoo! You know, I think Josh Take probably did that camera. Yeah. He was lower first, so just the ass. For sure, you're like, in. hey, can we, uh, go ahead? This is what I'm like. train, Nate? You have any idea what I've been through? I never asked for any of your bloody heroics. She's she's oh, just cranky on, because she doesn't have a jacket, and it's so get off the really train. cold out there. You still can. And leave you with that. When this scene, when we shot this scene, you I think I was like, what's she doing? I was so... You were, you were you affected by it? Yeah. And you knew what was happening. No, but yeah, like, Claudia, no. He, I went back for her, and she did this, and then she shot me. No. No. You just don't know when to quit. Ah, oh, Flynn. God damn it. Oh, Come on, God. buddy. No, nobody, nobody brought a jacket? Nobody? It's okay. Did you not know? There was like, I mean, maybe not. Stop. Just let him go. Oh. The guy has a gun. You're gonna put get in front of him? We didn't shoot this on a train, by the way. Oh. We didn't have a real, but I remembered it. And, and one of these guys has a limp. Remember? I was oh. one of the guys running with the limp. But then we got, we said, we said, it feels bad to shoot a guy with a limp. That Drake should be shooting guys that are more able bodied. Yeah, unless it was like he, he, did, he did it by, I broke my foot kicking a puppy or something. You're like, no, you shoot the guy with the limp. I don't know what puppy could break someone's foot, but I mean, maybe it was like a Rottweiler. Or I, like a, we just went, oh, oh. Hey, we know what those mean. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. This seems Surely, like the beginning of the game. This this is clearly the best course of action is for me to shoot an incendiary device. Uh, well, uh, well, there's hardly any choice at this point. This was also like incredible. This. Thank God you didn't have me mocap this. Yeah. We just put him in a dryer. But again, you're like, uh, uh. What a great place. Hey, look. Look at you. Now, we're back. This is where I came in. Mm -hmm. Train wrecked. Um, so, Yes, please. Naughty Dog. Go ahead. What does it mean? <gasps> You're gonna give us some secrets? Mm -hmm. Well, we talked about CES. Yes. And we talked about- We can spell, by the way. It's Kez, I understand. Right, it's right, Kez. right. And what was happening at Las Vegas at the same time as CES, I think it still Bad happens decisions. that way. Yes, hookers. The of adult video- <gasps> I was joking, are you serious? There's an adult video conference of some kind. I forget what it's called. Is it there, isn't it like their movie awards where they're like- Yeah, and, and the award? but it's also like a trade show. It's always like, you know- Was that in Vegas at the same time? Same days. Same days. And Jason- yeah. Oh, took no. us to the AV something somethings, and we're walking around the show floor, and people are going like, Jason, hi. And I'm going, wait a second. 3DO, hmm. which was a CD-ROM. Okay. Uh, a lot of game companies were making those uh, FMV games, yeah, like dude. Night Trap yeah. and all that things, where it's, where it's sort of these uh, branching, you know, you push a button and then the movie goes a different way. But it's like live action movie style with a CGI background. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. And so, Naughty Dog, FMV games, with branching uh, choices of the player to make, adult video awards. Just put that all together. Well, there you and, go. And, yeah. There you go, it all goes hand in hand. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's, there's porn mm -hmm. for everybody. I'm just saying. Just depends on your, your type of porn. Is there interactive porn these days? Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> he says, Some, he says unknowingly. Somewhere on a disc yeah. <laughs> exists. Yeah. Is this a true story? Yeah, 100%. I think that Naughty Dog could have been a whole different thing. It wow. absolutely could have been a whole yeah. different thing. Yeah. And, and it was it, it may have been a success story in, instead of the tragic right. star-crossed right, right. lovers. Uh, oh, shucks. Could have been an <sighs> ill-fated ill company, the, the exactly. ship that sailed into the night of interactive porn. Or, <laughs> that's how they've always or been. Or Uncharted 2. <laughs> yes. Well, 
Who thanks won for, in that uh, deal? Who won in that thanks, deal? Thanks for coming by and watching me play like crap. Good luck with You uh, got through uh, it, buddy. I did. Barely. Uh, good luck with that little indie game. Sure. Uh, Modern sure. Warfare. It's sure. sure that... Uh, he, he's in it. He did very well. He's in it. Of course he is. He's okay. in everything. We, we make no, sure. Just, we just make sure. I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wouldn't be in those. I would be not in the ones that I'm... Now I'm I, like, I, no, I, I, wanna... I die wonderfully. Die. You die really well, That's actually. Great. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was sad. Were you? You wrote it. No. We, <laughs> or Brian Bloom wrote it. We needed we needed to onboard our players right off the bat. So what right. better way to do it than to kill Troy Baker? Said well, this one of my favorite uh, Hollywood Shuffle movie by Robert Townsend. There's that but the guy. He's talking. He's a young actor, and he's talking to this guy named Batty Batty, who's like the big star. And he goes, "Hey, how do you know it's a good script?" And the guy goes, "Does your character die in the script?" And he goes, "Oh no." Then it's a good script. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. that's profound. It's wrong. Okay, it's clear. Good wrong. characters, you die in. Is that cool? No, good characters. Lots of. We all have to die at some point. We all have to glitch at some point too. Okay. Again. Oh. So. Thank you. Bye. 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 Nice to see you. Me too. Ooh. Never get. Uh, never get tired of that glitching them out. I don't. No. I. Uh, you did good. That was that was intense, by the way. That that oh. train thing is intense. I mean, it's like I, I it's kind of dark and you can't really see. And there's a ton of those. that dude with the logs. I don't need to see that guy again. That was well, you will. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's not a one and done. Um, they made other guns <laughs> that caliber. That guy's me. Yes, that uh, caliber. The that caliber. X caliber. So we're all the way back to where we started. Okay. Well, I want to. Uh, I want to. Do, I don't have to climb this again, right? I've already oh, yeah. done this. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. They're making me do this again? Really? The question is, will you do it better this time? Yeah.